Go, brother, please. Dark Souls. Hi, everybody. Skull Brother here, and it is time for episode three. Now, I know I said I was going to farm a bit last time, but I realized that I hadn't actually cleared the way to the best farming area. Um, so, we're going to do that now, and that's clearing up to the first boss. Um, at which point I will pause the video, farm a bit, and then we'll continue on with the first boss fight. Well, not the first boss, sorry. We've already done the first boss. I'm talking about the first bell. And uh, a lot of... This is where a lot of people... From my understanding, a lot of people just throw their controller down and that's it. That's, that's it. They're done. They don't play anymore. They don't come back. And really, they should. They really should. And really, this game is worthwhile. You will die a lot, you will fail a lot, but in the end, it's something that you can stamp on your card, seriously. You get it done, that gives you a lot of gamer cred. a lot of cred with me, which may not be that valuable, but hey, I know a lot of the guys that played Dark Souls and Dark Souls 2 all the way through will be like, yeah, you know that one time when you were fighting X-Boss and you just felt like that was it, like you are going to fail and then all of a sudden you were just awesome. Well, the more you play Dark Souls, the more times you reach those sort of situations. This guy in particular, when he does that, he's gonna parry you, so don't, don't hit him. Found that out the hard way. It's not even worth trying to kick him, honestly. Now. Uh, we're going to take care of this jerk up here. And his entire congregation. Look at that dance. Just, just look at it. Ooh. The first magic using guy. I found the best situation to deal with this guy is to just lure him back. Very unfortunate if you don't take him seriously. Especially since he reses all these jerks. And thankfully, he doesn't respawn after you kill him. If I remember correctly, you don't see any more of those guys for quite some time, but when you do, you'll be like, oh, that guy. I think the first time I ran into this guy, I died so many times just because of his endless horde of dudes, and I'm like, they can't possibly expect me to fight through all these. I mean, it's ridiculous. Well, actually, there's only like six or seven dudes, and you just don't know that. Unless you, unless you, you don't kill him. He just keeps rezzing them on you. And yes, if you remember in the previous episode when I fought the Tower Knight, 
I have been in situations where the jerk reses him, too. This is another good reason for not fighting the Tower Knight in that room. I like their armor a lot. This guy... I don't know what to think about this guy. I really don't. You can kill him if you want, but... Well, it's difficult. But you may have to kill him later, that's all I'm going to say. Thank you. Yes. Sincerely. I am Knight Lautrec of Karim. I truly appreciate this. And I guarantee a reward only later. Yes, very sorry. Your reward will have to wait. I've just been freed. Allow me some time. I am free. Now I can get back to work. <laughs> yeah, not, not spooky or anything. I am free. Now, I can get back to work. <laughs> Notice that everybody in this game has a little chuckle and some of them are more sinister than others. was fucked up. That was very fucked up. What the what the hell? What the hell? Uh well, we'll, we'll just pretend that never happened. Yeah, there's another room back here. I just turned around there for a bit. I was already in here. I was already in here. There's the ladder. Okay. And memory's failing me. So, up here is Tower Gargoyles. And the first bell. So, I'm gonna climb up here. Show you the doors there. Yeah, there's the door. That's fine. Um, so, I'm gonna cut off here and then I'll be back with you after I farmed a little bit. Well, everyone, it looks like uh, I'm going to give up on the farming idea because I have been standing here for an hour and no one has summoned me. This is ridiculous. I guess everybody's playing Dark Souls 2, but, uh, well, we're going to take an attempt at this boss. It's really hard to do on your own at low levels. And I'm going to see if I can get my ass whooped. I've only got two flasks left, too. 
This is probably the worst possible way to do it, but hey, let's do it. Looks pretty safe, doesn't it? Hmm. Important thing to note, watch the edges. If I fail this time, I'll, uh, well, I'll try to farm up some humanity and get good old Solaire to help me out. Actually, I think if you're going to do Solaire's story, you have to get him to help you out. 
you know, have them survive the fight. Maybe I'm misremembering. Ow. People who are tempted just to run in here with a two hand and kill everything all at once, well, you can do that, but you can also play it smart. Of course, if you're really skilled, you can do that with a game. I'm not really skilled, so once again, I prefer to play it smart. says he can stab. I am disappointed. There are obviously people playing, so how come they won't summon me? Elitist jerks. Sunny D, and go. How do you like me now, buddy? Missing something? That's right. You're missing something, aren't you? Not 
so tough. Not so tough now, huh? No. Burning. Guess what? I don't need your stinking humanity. But I'll take it anyway. And I got my souls back. I don't think there was anything around here. These guys like putting chests in the most ridiculous places. And the first time I played, I fought those guys and fought those guys, and I finally threw my controller down and just simply gave up. Perseverance is the key to this game, and I'm just going to keep going. Ding dong. what the significance of the bells are. In Dark Souls 2, there's a prince and a princess that are in love from uh, different kingdoms that are at war or something like that, and they lead the Bell Tower Covenant. And uh, they made these little gnome guys to protect the bells to keep people from ringing them. But I don't understand what quite what the imagery is, but I have a feeling that these bells here are the same bells. And, uh, part of me wonders if Dark Souls 2 actually happens before Dark Souls 1. That's just a... That's just a... theory of mine. Greetings! I am Oswald of Kerry. The power. Allow out a friend. For thee, a warm welcome. Cometh out to confess what your king is. For indeed, your sin is my domain. There it is. I don't know about this guy, but if I was standing there for as long as he is with his arms outstretched like that, my arms would probably just fall off. He's got a few things. Can cur uh, curse purging stone. You can indict a uh, trespasser, which is a red spirit, you know, PvP. Homer Bone, the Book of the Guilty. So this book is useful for people that join the Covenant. Uh, I forget what they're called, but they're a covenant that uh, hunts down the red players. And we've got a few things here. I think this is a talisman that works uh, on intelligence instead of instead of uh, faith. Or maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, it is. It uses intelligence instead of faith. So uh, those crappy smart people can cast miracles. Poison bite ring is useful. 
blood bite ring, I'm not too sure on. Of course, I usually no, don't have faith in anything. It is only human to commit a sin. <laughs> Yes. Greeting. I am pleased. He doesn't have anything else to talk about. So. You are welcome any time. It is only human to commit us. sucks that I wasn't able to farm is that now I'm going to have to get faith um, enough for the, the Warriors of the Sun Covenant by actually just getting faith, which kind of sucks because I didn't really want to pour all those points into faith, but uh, I can work with it. It is worth it to get the, uh, the Lightning Spear spell. Which is, I still think, maybe other than Sunlight Blade, one of the best spells in the game. Getting Sunlight Blade is difficult as well. You have to turn the game on its head, which I'd kind of intended to do this time. I don't know if I'll actually succeed, but I kind of want to go... I've already done the, the, the obvious ending. I kind of want to do the, uh, the alternate ending to Dark Souls which is to become the Lord of the Dark. Which again may be difficult because, once again, I don't think the multiplayer functions are quite working properly right now, or just maybe not enough people playing, or maybe I'm just not high enough level to meet those people. See you go hollow. Other thing I should well, I know we're gonna use him. Need any? Get me. 
might have enough. Hydra, I have to kill him anyways, but oh my god, I hate the Hydra. I love Siegfried. I think I think he might be the second most favorite character in this game for me. After uh Solaire. Hmm. I was absorbed in thought. I am Ziegmeier of Katarina. Quite honestly, I've run flat up against a wall. Or a gate, I should say. The thing just won't budge, no matter how long I wait. And oh, have I waited. So, here I sit, in quite a pickle, weighing my options, so to speak. <laughs> no, Sigmeier, not Siegfried, my bad. Still closed. Still closed. Hmm. Still closed. Still closed. Hmm. I could have sworn he said something when you rang the bell, but anyways. Maybe because I didn't talk to him before I rang the bell. My bad.
Oh, hello, miracles. Come again. The effectiveness of the... Foreshadowing. I've always been curious what was in this chest. as nasty as they were, and I uh, probably won't be going this way just yet. Nara. I was going to say, those legs better not be coming back to life, damn it. Mysterious falling from the sky pieces. There's little, some weird glitches this time around. If I remember correctly, there is a freaking giant back here and they suck. They don't suck as much as bone dogs. We're gonna find all about bone dogs here soon. Well, not too soon, but soon enough. Now, now, now! I don't remember all three coming back at the same time. Oh wait, that's not the giant. It's a the big sword. There's no, not really all that much happening for me. Oh, ho, 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 ho. 
Uh, just sort of flattens you. I don't even think you can. I don't even think you can guard against that. He just comes over there and like lays the whip on your face. Like the world shakes when he uses that thing. Oh! Ah! like these big guys. Not at all. Because they're way too fast considering what they are. Stepping on me. I think he can parry too. Ah ha ha. That's right. Only took me two blasts. Alright, I think that's the last of the skeletons, but I'm probably wrong. Y-handers up here. Or was it the spears? Ah, fuck! This, this, just not cool. I was wrong, you can't block it. I'm pretty sure if he gets you with that uh, on your back. Like that. Okay, no more. Please. That's a wing spear. Um, I think this will be his wife. Yes. There's one more thing down here. Okay, there we go. I don't fall off the edge. Oh, binoculars. Something I'll never ever use. To think of it, I never found those the first time I played through this game. Too bad, because I'll never ever use them. We'll just get down here for the bonfire and then uh, we'll call that an episode. Stupid screamy heads. Oh, I guess so. At least there. At least the screamy heads like killing everything.
But, not dead. Uh, see ya. show Dexter this is where he puts all his victims true story on New Game Plus you have to kill these guys with a holy weapon or something and or they'll just come back. They may still do it in this mode too. I don't think I've ever seen that behavior. this guy. No! I don't like fire. I just killed a guy that almost roasted me to death, and now you're gonna die too. Thank you. Give me your lantern. You jerk. up this episode. Hope to see everybody again next time.